Hey, what is going on? LaPrenta Sampson here, and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we have Fiji Water versus Nestle Pure Life. We're gonna find out which one of these is the best for your health. Now, before we jump into all of that, wanna make sure that you smash that subscribe button, okay? Now, if you're new here, you're gonna to want to, and if even if you've seen a few of the videos, you haven't done so already, what's wrong with you? Smash the subscribe button. Here's why, because you're gonna get more tips, tricks, and tactics on how to improve your overall wellness. With that being said, let's jump into this water battle. So let's pull up, let's pull up some Fiji. This is our island water. <laughs> and we're going to pull up some Nestle Pure Life. Now, a lot of people love the taste of this water and it is probably one of the waters that you're always seeing when you go to those fast food joints, you know what I'm talking about? You say, oh, let me get a bottle of water for all that junk that we're eating. I do it all the time too, I'm with you. Um, <laughs> and they normally give us this Nestle Pure Life, all right? So the first thing we are testing for is antioxidants. Now, why antioxidants is because they are gonna help us fight off free radicals. You're like, all right, what's a, what's a free radical? Free radicals, they are everywhere. They are in the air that we breathe. They're in the foods that we eat. They are in our cell phones, electronics. And what they do is, well, the free radicals, right? And they actually come in and they take our electrons from our healthy cells, okay? That forces the cell to oxidize and then increase inflammation because it can't take in any nutrients, they can't get rid of any waste, right? So it keeps doing that. And then in the process of that, it ends up doing the same thing to all their cells around it. So we're constantly in this cycle of oxidation and inflammation. And that is linked to every single health disease known to man. So this is where our free radicals come in. They are our fruits, our vegetables, our vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. They come in and they give out extra electrons to those struggling cells. That's gonna help bring down the oxidation, reduce that inflammation, by the way, which is any type of itis, any type of plantar fasciitis, bronchitis, tendonitis, that's inflammation. It's gonna bring that down and it's essentially gonna be the fountain of youth. So you aren't looking like this, you're looking more like these beautiful ones here. All right, so we're gonna test that using an ORP meter. And ORP stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential. And if we see a positive number here, that means it's oxidizing us. It's creating aging, inflammation, and dis-ease in the body. However, if we see a negative number here, that means it's antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-aging. It's gonna be great for us. So let's check out Fiji. Let's see what we get here. We are getting two, two, two. No? 250. <laughs> All right, so we're getting like a 248. We're getting something like that. Let's go ahead and check out. I'm gonna swap sides. Let's go ahead and check out our Nestle Pure Life and see how that does. All right, so our Nestle Pure Life is a little bit higher, but they're roughly the same. They're about, this one's sitting around 240. So they are both oxidizing us. That's the main thing. That means they're both creating sickness and disease in the body. Now, is there a water? Is there a water that has an actual antioxidant? Let me go ahead and grab this right here. This is my magic water. I'm go ahead and pour just a little bit here. And let's test this out and see what we get. And look at that, we are getting a negative 770. We're getting a negative 770. So this is the actual negative number, which means it is great for our health. All right, it's gonna be that antioxidant that we're all looking for. Now, let's take a look at the second thing, which is alkalinity. On to that second test, which is on alkalinity. Now, we all know that cancer cannot survive 
not only cancer, but cancer, sickness, and disease cannot survive in an alkaline environment. Okay, so the more things that we consume that are alkaline, the less likely we are to end up being and catching any of those things. So let's go ahead and we're gonna check for our alkalinity. And we're gonna do that using these funeral red drops. Now, if we see a red, or orange, or yellow, that means this is creating more acidity in the body, right? It means that these waters are acidic. And it's gonna actually eat the minerals and electrolytes that's in our body. However, if we see a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means we are alkaline as far as the water goes. It's gonna keep that balance, okay? Our blood must maintain a 7.365. If it doesn't, well, it's going to, right? Now, if we're consuming things that are too acidic, these are your alcohols, your fast food, your tobacco, smoking, um, those kinds of things, it's gonna start taking it from us. So it's start taking it from our skin, our bones, joints, and ligaments, and if those, if it continues, so I'll start taking it from our brain. So let's see what we get when we do this. And we'll do this one just for fun. And as you can see, we got acidic, right? We have alkaline and then we have really alkaline. Anytime we have something alkaline, I want to test it and ensure that's true alkaline. Like we are just adding stuff to it to make it look alkaline. So I'm going to blow into it and see what we get. See if it changes the color of the water. All right. So it changed a little bit. <laughs> this is more neutral, right? So let's go ahead and check out this purple one, see what we get. And as you can see, this one didn't change at all, all right? So when it comes to alkalinity, it looks like the Fiji water is definitely better than the Nestle Pure Life. Let's move on to round three, and that is on superior hydration. Alrighty, on to our third and final round, which is on superior hydration. Now, don't you just love it when you drink a big old thing of water, like a big old, like big old gulp of water, and it just sits in your stomach, just kukunk, right? <laughs> I hate it. I can't do jumping jacks. I can't jump on a trampoline. Can't do anything crazy because of all this water that's sitting in my stomach. But a good water will actually get absorbed into your body as you're drinking it and you won't feel thirsty. So we're gonna test that out and we're gonna do that using tea bags. Now, if this water is really good, if it's small enough, that's the main thing. Cause our cells are like a chain link fence. And we take a beach ball and we curl at that chain link fence. Guess what? That ball's gonna come right back to us. And if we instead used a marble, It'll go right through that fence and won't make a boink. <laughs> It'll go right through that fence and that's exactly how our water should be. With that being said, let's go ahead and see if we can make tea using these waters. Start off using our Fiji water. And it is not making tea. And I'm, in fact, I'm having to jump up and down in order to make the tea, which is crazy. Shouldn't have to jump up and down to make tea. You shouldn't have to jump up and down to get hydrated. Let's try it with our Nestle Pure Life. As you can see, it's about the same. They're doing the same thing. So let's just try this one more time just to make sure nothing's changed. The bag was wet. Yep, looks like they're both the same. They're both even. And last but not least, our Nestle Pure Life.
Yep, uh, you shouldn't have to jump up and down to make tea, right? <laughs> you guys are probably thinking I'm crazy. You're like, no, you should have to boil the water. That's what you should have to do. But why are we boiling the water? We're boiling it because we're making the water so small that it can pass through the tea bag and make it. So let's try this water and let's see what happens. Just for fun. And we're able to make tea, that's amazing, right? <laughs> so just think about it. If we are taking supplements, it's gonna go through our body better, it's gonna get better absorbed. It's not gonna immediately get flushed down the toilet. It's not gonna just sit in our stomach. If we're cooking and we're using a better water, guess what? It's gonna pull out the flavor more. It's gonna be more impactful. And you're not gonna have to use as much ingredients, right? And you're not gonna need all of that sugar. So just think about it, all right? So there you have it. We did our test. We tested Fiji versus Nestle Pure Life for three things. The first one was on antioxidants and we saw that they were both oxidizing. I really don't remember which one won in that battle, but you can let me know in the comments below, all right? The second one we tested for was alkalinity and we saw that Fiji was more alkaline than our Nestle Pure Life. Last but not least, we tested superior hydration and we saw that neither of them actually hydrate us the way we're supposed to. They both did about this and your body deserves more. Like we deserve more than that. Our body is 75% water. So let's think about this. If we change out the water that we're drinking, maybe we can change our lives, all right? So that concludes this video. If you are interested in learning about this magic water here and how you can get your hands on it, feel free to reach out to me. I am on laprentissampson.com, which is my personal website. I am also on Facebook with material that's too hot for YouTube, all right? You deserve the best water, and if you are serious about having the best and ensuring that your health is, at, is top notch, you gotta get your hands on this water, all right? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.